In this video, we will derive the Pythagorean theorem. But first, let's review the parts of a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle that has one 90 degree angle. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle, and it is also opposite the right angle. When using the Pythagorean theorem, we label the hypotenuse side C. The legs are adjacent to the right angle, or on either side of it, and we label those A and B. It does not matter which one you label as which. However, commonly A is the shorter side of the triangle. As you previously discovered, the sides of right triangles have a special relationship, and that is that the sum of the leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And we are now going to prove that mathematically. You may notice that we have two squares of side lengths A plus B. So we know that these two squares have the same area, but they are partitioned differently. And we will use that information to help us prove the Pythagorean theorem. On the left, we have a square of side lengths A plus B. So we can write the area as the quantity A plus B squared. We can also look at how it is partitioned, and we can see that we have a square with an area of a squared, a square with the area of b squared, and two rectangles of side lengths a times b. We can rewrite the area as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. On the right, we have four right triangles, and we have an inscribed square of side length c. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we have an area of one half a times b, and we have four of these triangles. The area of the square in the center is c squared. We can write the area as four times one half times a times b plus c squared. We know that these two area expressions are equal to each other because the squares have the same side length. On the right, we can simplify our expression by multiplying 4 times 1 half. Lastly, we want to use inverse operations and subtract 2ab from both sides. Doing so, we are left with a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Do you think that the Pythagorean theorem works for triangles that are not right triangles? Pause the video and see if a squared plus b squared equals c squared in any of these three examples. As you noticed, the Pythagorean theorem does not work for triangles that are not right triangles. It only works for triangles that are right triangles. First, you don't know which side is a, b, or c, and 9 plus 16 does not equal 36. 25 plus 25 obviously does not equal 25, and 36 plus 49 is much greater than 64. We use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side length of a triangle when we're provided with two of the other side lengths. In this case, somebody has a ladder that is 13 meters long, and they want to place it such that it reaches the top of a wall that is 12 meters high we need to find out how far away on the ground the ladder should be placed. We start with our formula and we substitute in our values. We know that the ladder is opposite the right angle and it is the longest side, so we substitute it in for C. 12 is one of our legs, so I can substitute it in for either A or B. We want to get G squared all by itself, so we use inverse operations. And then we take the square root of both sides, since that's the inverse operation of squaring a number, and we find that the ladder should be placed five meters away from the wall on the ground. Note that negative five is a mathematical solution to this equation, but it is not viable given the context of the problem. In this video, you have derived the Pythagorean theorem and applied it to find the missing side length of a right triangle.